2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo Review, putting the sports in sports utility. We still don't know why quick SUVs that handle like sports cars exist, but they do, people love them, and they sell. Even Ferrari is in on the game nowadays. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo model we review here isn't quite in that rarefied atmosphere of uber-expensive performance SUVs, and we've always loved it for its more sensible blend of practicality, sportiness, and relative attainability. In fact, with a $136,000 starting price, the 2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo isn't much more expensive than rivals such as the BMW X5M, and it's a lot cheaper than the Bentley Bentayga or Lamborghini Urus. It flies down a mountain pass with uncommon vigor, but with just 541 horsepower on tap, it's less powerful than most of these rivals. Still, it will get to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds, so it's certainly quick. You'll be buying this car for its all-round talent and driving demeanor, though, which remain hard to beat. A substantially updated new Porsche Cayenne Turbo will be going on sale in the USA soon as a 2024 model, so should you rather wait for that or splurge on this model? 2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo changes, what's the difference vs the 2022 Cayenne Turbo? In anticipation of a facelift model arriving next year, the 2023 Cayenne Turbo carries over unchanged from last year, except for jet black being replaced by chromite black on the paint palette. There is still only a single turbo SUV model in the range, and the other variations on the theme, such as the hybridized turbo models, the Cayenne Turbo Coupe, and the Ballistic Turbo GT, are reviewed separately. Pros and Cons Agile and fun to drive Powerful and quick Self-practicality Very customizable High-tech, premium cabin High starting price Expensive extras push the price up Too few driver assists are standard Not the biggest trunk What's the price of the 2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo? With a $135,900 MSRP the price of a new Porsche Cayenne Turbo is between $10,000 and $15,000 higher than those of its Audi and BMW rivals, but still a whopping $100,000 short of a Lamborghini Urus, so it represents decent performance per dollar. Just keep in mind that a few of the features and driver assists that are usually expected to be standard in an SUV of this price will cost you extra. The destination fee is $1,450 and isn't included in the MSRP either. 2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo Handling and Driving Impressions Thanks to adaptive air suspension and Porsche 4D chassis control, the Cayenne Turbo exhibits an incredible breadth of driving abilities for an SUV. It shrinks around the driver and feels fleet-footed, cornering like a much lighter car. It grips prodigiously through corners with very little lean and extremely impressive composure, even at 10 tenths, when rivals start to become ragged and feel the strain. Yet, despite all this, it rides bumps around town with far more composure and refinement than the harsh X5M and is an obliging day-to-day -day companion on normal pockmarked city streets. Part of its charm is the weighting of its controls, with the brakes immensely powerful yet progressive and even the steering, often a weak point on quick SUVs, both alert and precise. Agility receives an extra layer of sophistication with the re-axle steering fitted, a worthwhile extra to also ease low-speed maneuvering. The KN Turbo is set up so brilliantly that it might be accused of being clinical, but there's no denying Porsche's impressive achievement in making a mid-size SUV handle like a sports car. Verdict, is the 2023 Porsche KN Turbo a good SUV? The KN Turbo is not the last word in value for money, and you pay quite a steep price for an SUV that's still missing some features that are standard on rivals. But the Porsche name comes with an expectation of class-leading chassis dynamics, and the KN Turbo delivers in spades with superb handling and agility for such a heavy car, and excellent day-to-day -day driving manners as well. If you want as much as possible of that unflappable 911 feel in an SUV, the turbo will be worth every cent, especially considering it's still so practical and relatively affordable. Porsche has not dropped the ball and has infused the KN Turbo with that essential Porsche X-Factor that makes it feel special. 
It might be worth hanging on for next year's facelift though, despite the expected price increase, because it's not just a mild nip and tuck, but quite a major upgrade with refreshed styling and an upgraded engine. What 2023 Porsche KN Turbo model should I buy? There's only one trim, so it depends on which extras you add to it. Personalizing it to the NTH degree can cost you thousands of dollars in interior and exterior trim options and packages, so we'll leave that up to you, but there are a few essentials worth having. The assistance package fills in all the driver assist emissions by adding adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, surround view camera, a head-up display, and night vision. The rear axle steering improves handling even further and aids low-speed maneuverability. Together, these add less than $10,000 to the price. 2023 KN Turbo Exterior The sleek KN returns with those trademark LED headlights, a gaping front mouth, and standard 21-inch wheels, specific to turbo models. A panoramic roof lets light into the cabin, while the rear sees an adaptive roof spoiler coupled with LED taillights and a quad-exit exhaust tip arrangement. The exterior can be customized with a range of unique wheels up to 22 inches in size, along with roof rails, various exterior design packages, blacked-out trim pieces, various badging options, and more. Dimensions The KN Turbo is a heavy machine with large dimensions and a curb weight that starts at a whopping 5,056 pounds. Length measures 194 inches while width is 78.1 inches with the mirrors folded. The wheelbase is 114 inches and height measures 65.9 inches. Should you wish to take it off-road, the KN Turbo boasts an approach angle of 27.5 degrees with the air suspension in its highest setting. Breakover and departure angles measure 21.3 and 24.4 degrees respectively in the same guise. Ground clearance starts at 7.4 inches, but since this model is equipped with air suspension, this can rise to 9.6 inches. 2023 KN Turbo Interior The car is big, but the way the Porsche KN Turbo's interior is laid out makes it feel even more spacious. The dashboard seems to go on forever, helped on by a 12.3-inch touchscreen display that looks absolutely gorgeous. Above this high-tech display is an ode to a time gone by, with the analog stopwatch in the center of the dash to remind us that Porsche still cares about sports cars, even when SUVs pay the bills. There's enough interior space for five inside the KN, and all passengers get heated seats, although the front occupants get the greatest benefit with 18-way power-adjustable adaptive sports seats. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.